Hello and uh, welcome to this month's um, uh, Q&A, which I completely forgot to record, so that's why I'm doing it now. Yeah. And I figured, uh, because I thought of it this morning and we we're um, uh, recording some battle reports, I thought maybe it's nice to have uh, Igor along for this one, so he yeah. can uh, share his uh, his opinions <laughs> and all his, uh, his wisdom with us. You don't want my opinions, to be honest. No? No, it's terrible. Yeah, it'll be cool. Let's find out. Yeah. So, <laughs> S. S. This might end up in a lot of rambling and not being a lot of useful stuff, but well, that's what you get if you put uh, the two of us together. Yeah, right, like. probably. So, um, as usual, we're going to read the comments from ne last, not next, last Q&A from my phone again. And I'm just going to start with the first one I uh, come across, which uh, happens to be Beer 40 k Nick. And Nick uh, asks, what do you think of the rules, points, level, the new Necron Seraptic unit has? Do you know what the new Necron Seraptic unit is? Is that the big spider thing? Yeah, that's the big spider thing. So, I got the rules ready here as well. Okay. So, um, let's just shall we just go through the steps so you can uh, sh share, you know, enlighten us in all your wisdom. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> so, he has a, a movement, uh, un let's go for the unwounded ride, just yes, because he's... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, he has, uh, he, he has the tables, but uh, uh -huh. we're just going to opt him uh, freshly on the table, start uh, turn one. So he has a movement value of 16 inches, which is pretty fast. That's pretty fast. Yeah, that's pretty fast. That's, a, that's always a good thing. That's well. He has a weapon skill of 3 up, huh. which always is a good thing. And, uh, I think... A weapon skill of 3 up? Yeah. Yeah, in combat. So, because so I think really need a weapon skill of 3 up? Yeah, yeah, because look at his uh, titanic 4 limbs. He has a melee attack. Mm -hmm. He has 6 attacks. Yeah. yeah right. But if you use the, the Reaping Sweep, which is his uh, minor one, yeah. yeah, that's the lower lower strength one, he still has strength 8. Uh -huh. But he'll, uh, instead of 6, do 18 attacks. The fuck? Yeah, that's what Titans and. and so uh, that's like Matarian levels of bullshit. Yeah, and Knights, and it's a lot of war. Well, it's in the sea, it's a lot of war. It's the, I'm showing Igor the fist. Yeah, 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 I guess you think. The, the fist on the table, not my fist, obviously. <laughs> so, um, and then he has a bliss skill of trio. So, oh, I yeah, think he is, uh, yeah, well, it, it yeah. still is Necron. Then, as for, um, so I think that's all fair. That's nothing wrong. He comes in at, I know I saw his point, 625 points. Okay, well, you know, yeah. That's including war gear. Normally everything is excluding war gear, but this is including <laughs> war gear. What the, like I think, your army. You know what, I think that's okay, because the, the really big knight is around those uh, point types as well. They had a plastic knight, that was a Castellan, and that's, oh. really, that's a powerhouse. So I think this thing is a bit weaker. Mm -hmm. So uh, compared to the Castellan, he might have been like maybe around 600 points or something. Okay. But I'm not sure if the Castellan got moved up in points in the chapter approved. I haven't seen it approved. So, um, he, has, uh, he has living metal, so he regains uh, wounds. Of course he does. Which is good. It's a 5 up in vulnerable save, which is good. A 3 up armor save. 20. 8 wounds. <laughs> so, Ooh. yeah, but uh, it's, yeah, uh, it's you know, knights have 20, 26, 27, 28 wounds as well, so that's, yeah, all, yeah, that's yeah. all okay. Cool then we get to the weapons now. Just read the read of the weapons a bit. I would always, always, always mm -hmm. put the singularity generator on him. Okay, which is three d three strength eight minus three d six damage shots. And if you do a six mm -hmm. with the weapon, yeah. to wound, you it's a mortal wound in addition. The sure. Why yeah. Not? So yeah, you can also give him the um, the synaptic. Obliterator, it's kind of hard to read this. It longer yeah. range, heavy D3, but mm -hmm. it's strength 16. Yeah, strength 16, minus 4. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's nice if you shoot at a land raider, but nobody brings a land raider. Yeah. <laughs> well, nobody brings one of those things either. Yeah, you get, you, get, you get the, oh, you're going to face one, mate. Don't <laughs> worry about it, you will be facing one. Uh, the mm -hmm. trans-dimensional projector, 24 inch heavy, 6, mm -hmm. strength 6. This is, did, comes with the obliterator. Um, heavy D6. Um, and this also do an, an, an additional model, but this is a D6 damage. Okay. So the heavy 3D3 will, oh, and it's two guns. So it's no. basically 6D3 shots. So you'll always have somewhere between 6 and 18 shots. Okay. And the other one will be somewhere between 4 and 
well also 18 but mm. that's a d6 in there on strength 6 sure. so I think strength 8 on average is mm, basically more than enough to kill most of yeah. yeah and I think Necrons have enough other high strength stuff like uh, Doomsday Arc and such okay. to be able to fire at your knight I have knights, I have a noodle. Like I said, the biggest thing I bring is Mortarian, and he's like yeah, so 18 wounds. So in I'll uh, shoot Mortarian with my Doomsday Arc, and I'll just clean out two entire units a turn with the uh, Singularity with the Generators. How dare you, good sir. He's a prime, <laughs> he's a prime arc. So, um... He's fought for this country, you know? For this country. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so, no. I, uh, I, think, I think he might have been a couple of points cheaper, but he's, uh, hmm. he's good. Uh, I would more than happily... Join him to my uh, to my necro. Good. Yeah, if you get to feel more terror, I get to feel that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So on to the on to the next question yeah. from Steve Collex. Hey, Steve. Thank you, Steve, for your question. Steve's a great guy. You should check his channel out. I will. Yeah, just uh, he he's, he collects stuff and he is he's starting to make his own uh, uh, basing material uh -huh. and he showed it in a video and I really want it. I think I saw that. Why did he? Got like little or like oregano and stuff for no, he had, he, had, he had like yellow, uh, made from I think fine would be answer to it. Okay, but, uh, then this maybe, maybe I'll just I'll, I'll show you the video after because I want it for the Mars table. Ah, okay, cool. I already told him that I want it for the Mars table. Okay, so um, Steve asks, Do you have any preference for painting statues, busts, or miniatures? Well, Igor doesn't need to answer this question because Igor has the preference to not paint at all. I, I, I barely <laughs> paint as it is, like it, it, it it's. It's taking me three weeks to uh, base coat and um, wash a Nurgling base. <laughs> so, it's progress. So, um, do I have any preference? Well, I, I, I never painted a bust. So, uh, mm -hmm. might happen in the future, but uh, not right now. Um, my preference clearly goes to miniatures at this moment. That's uh, what you bust. Yeah, but that's Pascal, that's not... <laughs> Well, he's, he's, he's painting one now, that's why, that's why it popped in my head, like he's, he's doing one now. Yeah, yeah I, I, saw, I saw it yesterday, uh, yeah. the day before. Yeah. It's boobies. Yeah, it's insane what that guy does. <laughs> so, he's, uh, it's, uh, a com he's uh, Pascal is a friend of ours uh, for a long time already, and he's a competition, he became a competition painter, he started out with Warhammer as well. Yeah. And I, in October, met him again, and now I go to his place once a month. So he can teach me a couple of things. Um, but miniatures, Steve. Clearly miniatures. Um, so, then we go to paranormal stability. Oh. These, the, he, asks, he always asks questions. Yeah, I was going to say, that's, that's really good. That's really nice. And he, he also asks questions that you can answer. Oh, really? Yeah, because oh. the first one. Oh. Will you be doing any battle reports for Speed Freaks? No, no, no Speed Freaks. We have, we have burned the, the box, we're done with it. <laughs> joking, we will. We just need to, no. I need to paint it first. <laughs> no, we are. Yes, yes, we are at one point. Yeah, yeah. I, well, I've I, painted the thing. Yeah, you've painted your wagon. Yeah. I yes, have. you actually are further ahead than I am because I just recently but, I just started. This well, way. again, I, I, I was done painting the wagon three weeks ago and it's taking me up until now to not paste it. So. <laughs> There you go. So, um, you clearly see the, the quality of the Q and A didn't go up. <laughs> so, well, okay. So, next question: Are you going to be getting Blackstone Fortress, and are you excited to learn the lore behind it? Uh, no and yes. Oh, for me it's a double no. Double no? No, I'm okay. completely. Well, no, I was like slightly interested in it, and then I found out that you know it's then you only have to paint going. Then the entire fucking box. <laughs> yeah, well, that's you know I wouldn't have really have any problem with that, but um, uh, but you can only really play it once. Technically, yes. Because then you know the outcome of the game, then you've seen it, and then basically yeah, fair enough. It's, and it's a legacy game in the end. Yeah, and the majority of the models, no, not the majority, all of the models mm -hmm. are of no use to me, furthermore than just that game. No. Well, uh, there are rules to using those Chaos dudes in Kill Team. Yeah, which apparently I, are. I think, I think we, we, we already argued about having a Chaos team that we both don't, don't want to play it. Well, no, but apparently 
these ones are the ones you do want to play. Okay. So, so that, like, that's that, that that's the big thing. Uh, apparently, these these rules are actually actual rules that you would want as a chaos team. Yeah, okay, but then again, for the um, being able to play Blackstone Fortress once, and then have one kill team, I try to spend the money on several other kill teams. Yeah, exactly. At this point. Touché. Or invest it in uh, one of our already existing armies. Yeah. Or yeah. get get Rogue Trader. Rogue Trader would be a better deal. And also, I think, nice to play in Kill Team. Yeah. And models will be really, really cool. Like those, yeah, those yeah. neural models are dope. Yeah, and you have two new Kill Teams to play with. Yep. No. And a so. dog. And the dog, yes. So... Yes. Next. Do you think Games Workshop will expand the lore of the Men of Iron and release them as an army? Do you know what the Men of Iron are? What is the Men of Iron? Yeah, I don't know as well. So... Who, who you want to look that up, or...? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. You, you got to go to the next question. I'll go to the next question. Who's your favorite YouTube channel and why is it in a beer 40k? <laughs> so, <laughs> well, you ask me sort of like the same question. What's your favorite Primark and why is it Petrobras? Why is it Petrobras? Uh, yeah, it's not Petrobras. Oh, so, um, I do really like it in beer 40k. That's, uh, I watch all his videos. That's, uh, no, there's nothing to, uh, uh, to go into that further. Um, other questions? Um, other channels. That's that's just um, the miniature paint paintbrush is really good. Um, is it mini war zone? I really enjoy uh, listening uh, to to those videos whilst painting. Uh, what is? It? I mean, I mean, I missed the question. Sorry. Oh no! What's your favorite YouTube channel and why is it Eric Beer Forty? Oh, that guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Igor, I, I, Igor doesn't. Igor is more into watching gaming on YouTube. <laughs> yes. So, yes, and I'm not. Uh, video games, that is. And I, I don't watch. I only watch a video game video actually when I intend to buy it and I want to see how the game plays. Good point, good point. <coughs> don't play <with> the kids. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the miniature paintbrush. Uh, uh, the mom with the war gamer. I always look forward to his videos. Uh, Steve Collects, which I yep. mentioned just a couple of minutes ago, I think he has a really nice channel. He's more he's a collector for collectibles, so uh, I I don't do that, but I'm always excited to see his videos. Like yep. you know, it's like getting your Christmas gifts. <laughs> oh, what does he have this time? So um, I, I know what the Man of Iron is, by the way. What's the Man of Iron? It's it's it, it's how they're gonna uh, rationalize AIs. Basically, it's what it boils down to. Like it's it's men of iron, iron men were legendary artificial intelligent humanoid machines created by the like. There's a oh you know, yeah, the big that's like that's like I robot. Well, yeah, but the whole thing about AI in in the old uh, 40k lore, as I understand it, is that AI is like verboten. That that's like no one. Yeah, but that's that's still in current 40k actually. Yeah, but like the robot in. In the, the Blackstone Fortress is just an AI, but everyone just goes like, "Oh no, no, this isn't this isn't an AI." Pfft, no, what are you talking about? Like everyone's kind of turning the blind eye, so they may be like either retconning it or uh, they're going to be. Yeah, but if you if you if you go um, if you look at it like that, um, you can go look at Adeptus Mechanicus. Uh -huh. Those dudes are technically just robots. There's like a little bit of flesh hanging on, yeah, them, but will, they're yeah, robots. Yeah, but it, and they, it's, they, it's flesh. That, 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 that's the point. AI are completely robot. Then. Yeah, but I think that that's, I think in any way, yes. the Adeptus Mechanicus wouldn't care. Yeah. They would just make those robots. It's tech heresy. Yeah, it's but Castellan robots are robots. Yeah, exactly. Like, so like, that's the point already. Like, the, and that's the first problem. There's actually <laughs> that dude walking with them to make sure they keep functioning. Yeah. So they're not optimized functioning robots, but they're still robots. Yeah, but the whole uh, uh, um, it, it's it it goes into deep lore that I I'm, I'm not too feel well versed about. But like as I as I as I you know um, remember it, it's AI is just tech heresy basically. So now with yeah, it's robots, not it's not accepted. In, no, in in the in within the Imperium, but if you take it that way, Necrons are basically already AI. Well, yeah, but that's that's why the heresy. Yeah, but you know, mm -hmm. uh, there's so many factions and sub factions within the Imperium that. Um, yes. I, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody did something. Oh no, of course not. The like, same thing that I wouldn't be surprised if somewhere down the road, for lore-wise, uh, call, mm -hmm. uh, you know, oh, yeah. made the primaries meet. 
is going to start using the traitor gene seed because he has it available and he wants to use it and yeah well he's 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 uh, he's not really a pushover and he's <laughs> actually not getting him his favorite so no but then again the adept mechanics aren't the favorite of any Astar. No, so that's true that's true it's not. so um where will it go there's probably going to be some some yeah. expansions on it especially since now um in in if in blackstone fortress already are those type of thing yeah and like we said, the Castellan robots, they were, okay, they're 10,000 years old, but they're still yeah. around, but Carl's 10,000 years old as well. So he should basically have the technology <gasps> Carl, to... Carl did it. Yeah, Carl oh. did it, yeah. Then Carl. So I think, um, and from, from the moment Carl was released with this lore, I was expecting him to, Do in, in, in the future, start playing a big role in yeah. the storyline. Start so. doing some dumb shit. <coughs> or maybe really smart shit. Yeah, no. don't know. So then, uh, how far are you through Game of Thrones? Um, I've seen season, what's the seven is the last one, right? Or right now, you know. Probably. I stopped watching my four. I only need to see the one that's going to be released next year. And how do you think it will end? How do you think it will end? Game of Thrones? I think uh, Jon Snow will end up on the yeah. Iron Throne. Right. Yeah. I'll say... Because you didn't see season 7. I, no. No, I'm gonna... Do you, do you want me to tell the spoiler? I don't care. That's, that's, okay. don't, don't, don't spoil it for anyone out there. Because the, 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 there's always that one guy who goes, No, I haven't seen it yet. I was, no, I've been old enough. Because <laughs> the dragons aren't here yet. Like, no, I, I, I honestly don't care. You know what? Clegane's gonna be on the throne. There you go. The Hound. He's gonna be, he's gonna be on the throne. It's actually possible. Call it. <laughs> Call it. <laughs> so... Um, so then, do you watch The Walking Dead? I watched uh, until um, where Negan showed up, and then Netflix didn't upload any more <laughs> any more episodes, so stop watching. Yeah, it's, it's, it's Dutch. It's Dutch Netflix. They they have half the shit available. Yeah, well, Netflix, ne not not one, uh, not uh, any Netflix has it because they lost the rights. Oh, did they? Yeah, <laughs> they didn't. Uh, they didn't buy the new new season rights. So um, dumbasses. So I did go to YouTube and watch how certain characters died. <laughs> because I wanted to know how they did it, uh, and that's that's basically it. Uh, I do know who, uh, who's face Negan uh, yep. <laughs> repositioned a bit. Um, I do, yeah, I do know how it ends up with Negan, and uh, another nice thing maybe. I saw. I uh, actually have the Mantic, the Walking Dead board game. Oh yeah, that thing. Which is a really good game. Is maybe it? we can play it once. Yes, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, I'll take it with me next time. Sure. So um, and I, uh, but I, I really enjoyed watching The Walking Dead. Uh, I really didn't like it that they uh, that they stopped, uh, yeah. brought, uh, you know, put, uh, putting it on Netflix. And now we changed um, television provider at home. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Now I can watch it, but I'm missing like two seasons, so I don't want to watch. <laughs> it. So, so 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 they stopped at like four, and then you're missing two, and now uh, and then you can. Yeah, watch I think I think I s I've seen season one to five. Uh -huh. And then I missed six or seven. Now we're in season eight, so now I can just jump in <laughs> again. Season eight, yeah. but yeah, I don't want to see it because I'm missing yes. two seasons, and I. Oh. So that's 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 why I basically stopped watching it. Otherwise, I would have seen uh, probably all of them. Oh. What's your favorite food? Um, ooh, what's my favorite food? That's a good one. I like uh, Spanish tapas. Yeah. Yeah, but I also like sushi a lot. Yeah. I think I think I'd have to say sushi. I, my my wife doesn't. Uh, want to eat sushi, so I never get sushi. <laughs> <laughs> I really love sushi. Yeah, so, uh, oh. uh, you, your favorite food? Uh, I'd say a toss up between sushi and kebab. Mainly because since, yeah, well, I, since, since I moved out, out here, uh, back where I live now, there's no kebab shop. So, um, I've been kebab kebabless for like. No, we, we, we ordered uh, the thing with the fries and the yeah, kebab. That, was, okay. that was really good. That's really good as well. Yeah, kebab and, 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 uh, between that one, there was like a five or seven year gap where, where, where I'm like. Well, I've never had a kebab, so it's like... Also, so I, I do like Chinese food and Greek food as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, Greek food's yeah. a lot of meat, that's always good. Yeah. That's always good. And occasionally I like my uh, McDonald's and Burger King and such. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yesterday I was... Uh, I was I, I'm, I'm not, we're not recording the battle report and such at, at, my, at my place, so... Um, I was on my way here and I walked past the Burger King and I need to have a Whopper. <laughs> So then, on to the last question, uh, Osephus asks, What are your thoughts on the Blackstone Fortress? And could we expect to see any minis from there being painted by you? 
So are you going to pay the leave? <laughs> so, oh, um, we've discussed Black Soul Fortress just a bit before. Um, I'm not going to get it. There's a couple of models in it that I'd really like to paint, but I'm not going to spend 125 euros just to paint two models. That's a bit much. Yeah, then I'd rather spend 125 euros to buy, let's say, Mortarian or Archeon and paint that. Yeah. Yeah, Better, because um, that's, you happen to have Mortarian. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, that basically, uh, I would love to paint some, but I'm not going to buy it. That's uh, because well, money-wise, it's just too expensive. I can't explain that to the, to the wife at home. So, um, that's the end of this uh, Q&A. Um, I ho hope you liked the uh, rambling mess. If you like it, please l let us know, because then we might be able to record them from now on with the two of us. Yeah, maybe. And then you can ask Igor questions as well. Yay. But uh, keep them simple. <laughs> no big words. <laughs> no, definitely no difficult words. <laughs> No, just kidding. Uh, so hope you uh, you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye. Bye.